Okay, so welcome to One Minute a Day AP Physics. So this is episode six. We're gonna talk about another conservation law. So conservation of angular momentum. So what is important? Right. So first of all, the assumption, right? What is the assumption that is used in conservation of angular momentum? That is the external net torque is equal to zero, right? So when that is true, then you have the L, right? Sorry, L before is equal to L. Right, so this is L after, right? And that's equal to a constant, right? And this is for the system. So you define what's the system, and this is also for the system. Okay, so that is, that is the, the conservation of angular momentum. So as long as the net, the external, torque to the system is zero, then you can say the following, right? So for example, if your system uh, originally has two items, right? So I1, omega one, right? Plus I2, omega two, right? And later you can assume that this is true. Then later you have this I, one maybe you have changes i1 right then your omega one may change right and then your i2 may change and then your omega two may change right but when you add them together they they can they will still be constant right but you can also have just one item right so that one item can be i1 i omega right and that can be equal to i prime omega prime right so this is before this is before and this is after and this is after right so you can write it as this also okay so that is that is it for conservation of angular momentum okay so be careful the i can change right so i may change which is different from in the case for the mass, right? So for the for the mass, mass usually is assumed not change, right? But I is your moment of inertia, and moment of inertia can change when your mass distribution change, right? Moment of inertia may change when mass distribution change okay so that is it for today yeah thank you for watching bye bye